Good morning. It was lovely to have so many of you join me yesterday for our service of Holy Communion on Thursday morning. But we're going to begin our time of morning prayer together with the hymn, Be Still My Soul. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is from Psalm 32. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, 
he sees all the children of humanity. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading today is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Throughout the earth, human beings spoke the same language with the same vocabulary. Now as they moved eastwards, they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and there they settled. They said to one another, come, let us make bricks and bake them in the fire. For stone they used bricks and for mortar they used bitumen. Come, they said, let us build ourselves a town and a tower with its top reaching heaven. Let us make a name for ourselves so that we may not be scattered about the whole earth. Now the Lord came down to see the town and the tower that the sons of human beings had built. So they and all a single people with a single language said to the Lord, this is but the start of their undertakings. There will be nothing too hard for them to do. So come, let us go down and confuse their language on the spot so that they can no longer understand one another. The Lord scattered them hence over the whole face of the earth and they stopped building the town. It was named Babel therefore, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole earth. It was from there the Lord scattered them over the whole face of the earth. Today's canticle is called A Song of Humility. Come, let us return to the Lord, who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us. And on the third day he will raise us up, that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord, for his appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist like the dew that goes early away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 8, beginning at verse 34. Jesus called the people and his disciples to him and said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let them renounce themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. For anyone who wants to save their life will lose it. But anyone who loses their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. What gain then is, is it for someone to win the whole world and ruin their life? And indeed, what can human beings offer in exchange for their lives? For if anyone in this adulterous and sinful generation is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of them when he comes into his glory with his Father, with his holy angels. And he said to them, I tell you solemnly, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power.
Let us say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. This day we pray for peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let peoples grow in justice and harmony. We pray for those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. We pray for Christians everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Jesus Christ. We pray especially this day for those from the parish of St. Mary's and St. James. We pray today for Bill Jackson, for Robert Radley, for Sue and Richard Ragg, for Eve Pierce, for Rachel Woods, for Nora Lee, for Colin Bertwell, We pray for those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. We pray especially today, Lord, for your healing to be with Kim Brown. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Father in heaven, ever-living source of all that is good, from the beginning of time you have promised salvation through the future coming of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to drink of his truth and expand our hearts with the joy of his promises so that we may serve you in faith and in love and know forever the joy of your presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and those you love always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>